Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to ship a moped for 100 bucks. One of the biggest problems with mopeds is shipping them. They're big, they're bulky, they're heavy, and it costs a lot to ship them, to move them across the country. But Graham Motzing from Moped Factory has a solution for you. Please like and subscribe, buy us a coffee if you can. Thanks for watching. Hey, welcome to my shop. Uh, today we're going to pack this Tomos moped up and ship it across the country for cheap and I'm gonna show you how. First thing we're gonna do is drain the oil and the gas out of the bike completely. Then we're gonna support the bike. I'm using a kayak lift to hold it up, but you can also just as easily lay it over on its side because we're gonna remove the wheels, the engine, the rear rack, and the handlebars and try to fit this down into two smaller boxes that will be cheaper, cheaper to ship. The frame and the wheels will all go in one box that is gonna be smaller than 60 by 30 by 10 and no more than 90 pounds. That's the limit for UPS ground before you trigger the overweight service charge or the oversized service charge. It'll be a lot cheaper if you can squeeze it all down. Then the engine can go in a separate box and that'll get you underneath the 80 pound weight limit so you won't trigger the overweight charge. Those parts come off of the bike pretty quick if you know what you're doing. And what's left of the bike can go right into a bike box. These bike boxes I got from a local bike store, they're not exactly perfect. Uh, you can find heavier duty ones and it's better if you can get one of those, but this will be fine. I've got the frame in the lower box and then I'm going to use the wheels to kind of um, pack in around it and keep it from moving around. I'm using some cardboard to protect any of the pokey parts like the fork ends and uh, some assorted garbage packing material. You're gonna try to get the bike box as small as possible so cut it down if you have to tape it together. Anything you can do to get the package as small and as tight as possible and not have anything inside that's going to be rolling around. Make sure you've got plenty of tape on it and that nothing's going to come apart in shipping. If you want you can even cut little handle holds uh, that will help the people shipping move it around. The engine has to get packed in a sturdy box. I like these from HelloFresh. If you put a couple layers of cardboard on the bottom, that'll help protect it. And then a plastic bag to catch any residual oil. But once again, any oil leaking out of the box is super bad, so make sure it's really drained. The motor will move around and poke holes in the plastic bag, so if there's liquid oil, it'll still leak out. Take all your extra hardware and stuff, throw that in a baggie, throw that in there. Then take a few more layers of cardboard on top because it could just as easily get flipped upside down. And cut the box down so it's nice and tight once again and nothing can slide around in there. Also, the smaller you make the box, the cheaper it'll be to ship. So it's in your best interest to do this. Tape it up really good. Then grab your packing scale or a bathroom scale or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Anything that can go up to about 70 or 80 pounds. This is 70 pounds exactly. I like to write the weight right on the box so that you don't forget what it is when you go to make the label. Then grab your tape measure. Measure the final dimensions of the box in all three dimensions, length, width, and height. I got this one down to 48 inches by 28 inches by 10. I write that right on the box too. Then go ahead and do the same thing for your engine. This ended up being 38 pounds, 15 by 15 by 9.
Next, we're going to take those dimensions and we're going to go to pirateship.com, punch in the shipping address, the dimensions, and the weight. This is the big box. It was 70 bucks. The small box cost $36, and the total came to $107 to ship a moped from northern Wisconsin to Louisiana, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Even if you were just going to a rally or something, you could definitely ship your moped and ship it back for a lot less than it would cost to get it there any other way.